what do we do when the brook dries up? Oh, my, my, my. You got somebody on the other side that's using another word. Say, neighbor, what do you do when your resources are gone? Oh, my, 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 my. You may be seated in this house. What do I do when the brook dries up? Or what do I do when I have no more resources? Oh, my, my, I have exhausted all the supplies that I had. Uh, no more money in the bin. No more contacts. No more nothing. What do I do when the brook dries up? As we get to time into this particular chapter, amen, we think about Elijah. Elijah was a prophet in the northern kingdom during the reigns of Ahab and his son Azad. The name Elijah means something. How many realize the people of the Bible, their name spoke something, it said something. The word Elijah means the Lord is my God. Uh, we got some more Elijahs in here. How many have the mortal sibling that know that a personal pronoun that God is my God? I thought I had some help back there. How many realize it represents the unshakable conviction? I mean, your grandmama said it like this, you have to swear to your own hurt and change not. For God I live and for God I die. How many know his name represent that I got an unshakable faith? Yeah. Oh my God, a conviction to know that God is who he said he is. Yeah. The principal narrative about his life is found in the book of Kings. Yes. How many know Elijah's life was sitting around the conflict? How many know we're in conflict? Uh, men are in conflict. Oh my God in here. How many know we're fighting against a formidable foe? How many know not only are we fighting against the devil, but we fight against ourselves? Uh, there's a war going on in your own body. How many know the spirit wants you to do one thing, but flesh is telling you to do another? Oh my God in here. How many know there's always conflict? But how I many know Paul says it eloquently? He said, Well, we have this treasure in your business. That the excellent may be of God and not of us. Yeah. How many know we're constantly in conflict? Well, His life was in conflict, oh my God, between worship of the Lord and the worship of Baal. Yeah. How many know he was he was in conflict because Jezebel had came in and swayed Ahab, who was a king. Oh my God in here to do the things that she was raised up in customary to do. Yeah. But how many know what God church and God's nation was built upon the foundation of God. Yeah. And the Bible lets me know if the I, when the righteous is exalted I hate our nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Yeah. There's certain things that we won't do, we can't do. Yeah. Because why? My name represents Elijah this morning. Oh my God. That Elijah said that God is my God. Yes. And I have unshakable conviction. Yes. That is a point that I won't cross. All right. mm, yeah. I don't care what you say is all right to do. Oh uh, my God, and there's some things I will not do because why? God has delivered me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to talk about myself. So he was considered, he was in conflict between Baal's worshippers and uh, letting Israel go. His mission was to awaken Israelites to their apostasy and call them back to Lord to your God. How many of us are cry out to holiness? Yeah. Let's go back to church for real. Oh my God, let's stop doing what the Joneses are doing. Right. Let's stop trying to conform to the ways of the world. Yes. How many know we'll never fit in? How many tell your neighbor you'll never fit in? Yes. You was made to stand out. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Yeah. I ain't got no help on somebody. I got you to look one more time and say, neighbor, I wasn't made to stand out. Oh my God, oh my God. To just fit in. Yeah. But I was made to stand out. Yeah. You wonder why you can't get along with some people? You feel like you don't work with some people? Because why? You was made to stand out. Yeah. Hey, my God in here. So the Elijah, oh my God, was a restorer. Ooh. How many know we need to restore someone willing to stand in the gap? Yeah. Oh my God, Lord is laid on my heart that I, you are a restorer. The restorer of the brother. A reformer who sought to reestablish the covenant. I mean, only the time the prefix re is there, it once was there, and now it's gone. Oh my God, in here. What do I do when people walk away from church? What do I do when the people that you trusted in and counted on are gone? 
Yeah. What do I do when nobody speaks a word of life over you? No one encourages you and tells you, hold on, you're doing a good work. Don't come down off the work of God. Continue, young man. Continue, uh, young woman. Continue in the works of God. How many know when you don't hear nothing? God, what do I do when I don't hear no accolades? When I don't hear no whispers? When I don't hear the prayers of the righteous that say, hold on a little while longer. Yeah. Oh my God, what do I do when the book dries up? How many know, oh my God, when your resources are gone, what will you do here? Woo! When your money is funny and your change is strange and, right. and you ain't got nothing else. Yeah. Oh my God, and everybody that you relied on are gone now. Right. Uh, I'm talking to somebody in here this morning. Yeah. How many realize, what will you do when the book dry up? Oh my God, don't know what to do when there is nothing to do. How many realize the Bible tells me in verse 4, God commanded a foul bird to feed him in the morning and the evening. Now I got to tell you about the dirty bird. The raven was a, a, a dirty bird. How many know the raven wouldn't even take care of his own chicklets? Oh my God, the raven has the little eggs and he flies out and let them fend for themselves. Yeah. Now God has commanded something. Oh, they don't even take care of their own thing. It's against their nature to be able to feed anybody. Yeah. But how many of a God to get a sinner to take care of you? Yeah. Oh my God, in here, he commanded, but the key term is he commanded a bird. Yeah. Woo, a raven to feed you. There are times in your spir our spiritual walk with God we have to move out of our comfort zones. Can I get some help in here? In a new location, God commanded a widow woman to sustain him. He is a very present help in our time of trouble, isn't he? How I many of the words sustain means God will prepare unfamiliar people, oh my God, to sustain you. Uh, unfamiliar resources to support you. Sustain means to support. When the brook dried up and the ravens stopped coming, God provides another avenue of blessings. The brook dried up uh, to do some things. The brook dried up to purify. Woo! I focus. How I many know sometimes we focus on the wrong thing? Yes, God. Uh, the, the drying of the brook meant that it was time for Elijah to move. It's time for you to go to another place. You cannot stay in the same place because you keep doing the same thing. You'll keep getting the same results. Oh my God, in here, oftentimes we experience dry brooks, don't we? Woo! We stay at the empty brook, discouraged because the raven haven't visited us in a week. We waiting on other people to take care of us. We waiting on our material things to take care of us. Oh my God, wait for weeks for all the raven to come back. How many realize Elijah got comfortable? For a period of a year, the Lord concealed him. How many know God healed him? The whereabouts of Elijah from the world. At the time, Elijah's friends were birds. Anybody ever been there? Woo! His food was bread. And his fondness was a brook. He had nobody to encourage him. No one to love him. No one to let you know that you're doing better than you think you are. Oh my God, how easy it is to get into everyday routine like that. You get used to your surroundings. You get in your comfort zone and you think, well, this is my lot. Oh, I, I can't do no better. I'm uneducated. I don't have no big family. I don't have no encouragers. But I'll stop by to tell you some things this morning. But how many know, oh my God, when the book dries up, I mean, no, but he knew for every day we, we rely on everyday routine things. God has blessed you with. We saw looking at what God blessed me with. We saw looking at what? My land, my houses, all my, my cars, the things, material things that I got. Must be doing pretty good because I got these things. But the Bible tells me, but man's life is not consisting of the abundance of some things which he possesses. How many of the devil don't care about you having no car? That's right, man. Devil don't care about you having houses. Right. Woo! He don't care about you being religious. Yeah. But he just don't want you to be saved. Yeah. 
Can I teach in here? My God in here. But how many know, but lose focus on God who gave them to you? How many know sometimes we have a tendency, oh my God, a man to look at gifts and not the giver. Amen. God often changes his means of supply to keep our eyes fixed on him. Oh my God, in here, look at your neighbors and neighbor. How long have you been by the empty brook? Yeah, I'm talking in here. Woo! How many know the, the raven haven't come in weeks? He haven't brought you no food and no bread. Oh my God, you ain't had a conversation with the bird. How many realize it's been a long time ago for you heard anything, for you got a promotion? It's been a long time ago for somebody to encourage you. And you sitting here, oh my God, with your saved self. I'm, I'm dealing with y'all in here. How many know, then we try to get very spiritual. Y'all know how y'all know. You, you know we're trying to get spiritual on you. Oh my God, and lie to ourselves and say, we good, we all right. Karen, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, they did this, but hey, I'm good. You know you ain't telling the truth. We try to get spiritual and say stuff like this. I'm going to wait at the brook until my change comes. I'm doing all right in there. I'm waiting. Oh my God. God already tell you to get up and move away from the book. But I'm going to hang on here just a little bit. I'm going to stay here till my change come. Oh my God in here. But I stopped out and tell you this morning, not at that brook. Oh my God. How many realize you fishing in the wrong pond? Oh my God. The water is already gone. How many realize you've been there one year too long? You've been there one minute too long. You should have walked away a long time ago. The brook has dried up. Oh my God in here. And God is telling you to get up and move. Why are you trying to hold on to things that God already delivered you from? Woo! Why do you want to try to see being connected to something that God has already told you to move from? How many know the brook dried up to prepare his future? How many realize I can't get what God has for me because I'm trying to still hold on to something? Oh my God, it's already gone. How many realize the resources are gone? I ain't being fed at the brook, but it was Grandmama's church. Grandmama got a pew in this church, but the church been dead for 15 years, and you won't die if you stay over there. But I got somebody to come over here when the table is spread. Circumstances that was designed by God to increase his faith in God's word. How many know you got to go through before you can come out? Yeah, God. Elijah growing process is how God, God grows his people. Your dry places woo, are normal parts of the spiritual growing place. How many ever experienced some dryness? How many ever experienced a dry place? Seem like nothing is working. But every time I turn around, something else pops up. How many realize I got no outcome that I have income? But I thank God for the little bit I got. Can I teach it? Yeah. How many know the book dries up to let you know your reliance is not on nature? Your reliance is not on the book. Your reliance is not on the raven. How many of us got a whole lot of ravens that's in our lives? We got some kid folk that say, I got you. But when trouble comes, we got some people say, I got you, man. I'm going to be with you. But trouble, when trouble comes, you find yourself. Some of us, you got to get fired. 
before you can get the job that God really has for you. You got to go for before you walk into God's room. Say yeah. What I'm gonna do when my book dry up. He first equipped him and prepared him for a task. He starts with Elijah, the dispatch. When he goes through the trouble, the trouble is a bad thing. But the trouble can be a good thing. He started this chapter as Elisha, the dispatch. But he ends this chapter with Elijah, the man of God. I got to go through to get thrown down. The more I go through, the greater the blessing. Say it. That I've been in, yeah, the trouble that I had. It didn't make me bitter, but it made me better. Say so, yeah, I gotta hold on in the dark time. I gotta hold on when I'm going through. Say so, yeah, Lord, what do I do when the book dries up? When my resources are gone, I don't have no favor.
places. 